Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. Ah, uh, it's been a little while since I last did an episode on this Let's Play, but for now at least, it's back. Yeah, I took a bit of a break from this Let's Play to, to do some Pokemon training, and also because I wanted to uh, start a new uh, Let's Play, which was my Pokemon Mystery Dodger Let's Play. But here I am, back with Soul Silver, and let's have a little look and see what's been going on, because I've been doing an awful lot of stuff off camera. Uh, as you can see, a hell of a lot more training uh, in in between uh, this this episode and the previous episode, and all my main Pokémon are at least level 70. Oh yes, I've been doing a ton of training on these Pokémon. So let's have a quick look at some uh, levels and moves and whatnot. I don't think too many Pokémon know any new moves, but I know there's at least one or two. Anyway, Typhlosion. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I think that's the exact same moves as before, but you are now level 75. We have a level 70 Marowak with, again, I think the same moves as before and still holding that thick club. Espeon, level 72, and no, you know a new move. You now know Morning Sun instead of, I think, uh, I can't remember what it's called now. One of the uh, other psychic attacks, which... Uh, it's the delayed... I, I can't remember what that move's called, but yeah, that's a new move. Espeon. Dragonite, you now... Oh, you now know Outrage instead of Dragon... Br no, not Dragon Breath. I can't remember what it's called. But it was one of, But it was a uh, move that was a special attack rather than a box standard attack, so Dragonite now knows Outrage instead of whatever move it was. Uh, Lapras, level 71, and as far as I'm aware, you still know the exact same moves. And Ampharos, uh, you now know Thunder instead of Thunder Punch. And that's pretty much the main Pokemon. So, that's just a little recap of all the Pokemon I have. And yeah, I think it's about time I continue with this adventure because there's still an awful lot to do. Oh, I think that's Cameron. Hi, Cameron. Actually, no, we need to go back because uh, I'm stuck in the middle of Mount Silver because this is where I've been doing all my training. It's not a bad place to train, actually. But I immediately need to get Pidgeot. Because I need to get out of here. So for now, I'm just going to say goodbye to Dragonite. And let's exit the box. And let's fly. Question is, where do I want to fly to? Well, as I said, there's quite a few things still to do in this game. Obviously, there's a lot of Pokemon I need to catch it. Although, thinking about it, I do want to make a stop at a Pokemart, thinking about it, because I need to stock up on some supplies. Uh, so, I'm technically in Johto, but I actually want... Ooh, I was going to say, I actually want to head back and check out Cerulean Cave. But seeing as I'm technically in Johto, I've changed my mind. I want to go to Ecritique City. Because, well, I've still got at least two legendary Pokemon to capture, and uh, I believe I can now get the legendary Pokemon in Ecritic City. But first, I need to stock up on some items, because no doubt I have probably used all my items. So first of all, let's buy... Uh, how many Ultra Balls do I have in my... Oh, I've got plenty of Ultra Balls, but I think I want some more of those Dusk Balls. That could be useful. Might be worth grabbing a few more Max Repels in case I need to travel around quickly, so let's just buy 12 of them. Oh yeah, I think I actually, yeah, I think I actually withdrew all the money that was saved uh, back home, so I now have over 400, I have over 400,000 Poké Dollars. So, I've got a ton of money, so not too bad. Anyway, so, see ya, I want to talk to you, and I'm hoping you sell the Dusk Balls. You do not, you suck. <laughs> well, it's a good job I didn't bother to uh, put Pidgeot back into storage because I need your help. I need to go to a Pokemon, uh, a Pokemon that has Dusk Balls. I think the one in Blackthorn City uh, stocks them. Let's go! Here we are, Blackthorn City. Let's just check. If you do sell them, I think you do. Yes, you do. Okay. So I've got 23. Uh, oh, I thought I had a little bit less than that. Although I just remembered it's not the Dusk Balls I used a lot of in uh, some of the previous episodes. It's the Quick Balls. But I don't think I need them anymore because I'm no longer going to be chasing after roaming Pokemon. So if I get 27, that'll take up to 50. 
Uh, no, I don't want to buy any more. 50 should be enough. Although, at the end of the day, I still have a Master Ball. Which I suppose I could use... ...on one of the legendary Pokémon I want to capture, but I kind of want to try and avoid that. Maybe whichever Pokémon I successfully capture... Well, no, I'm going to try and capture Ho-Oh first, so... I'll head back to Equity. Hopefully we'll try and catch a Ho-Oh, and then we'll go after Mewtwo in Cerulean Cave. And I think that's all the legendary Pokemon I need to capture. Not 100% sure. Because I've got the legendary beasts, I've got all of the legendary birds, I've got Lugia, I've got Latios. Uh, unless, I'm mis unless I can't remember a specific one... Then I think there's only two I need to get, at least in normal circumstances. I don't know whether I'm forgetting one or not, but I'll do for now. Anyway, I'm gonna. I was gonna say deposit Pidgeot and bring back Dragonite, but I can't remember if I need a Pokemon no strength or not. So you know what? Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna bring Ursa Ring with me. Definitely don't need Kingler because. Unless, for whatever reason, part of the tower is completely flooded, uh, I don't think we need Surf, so we should be alright. I'll take a Ring just as a precaution. Uh, although, thinking about it, I suppose I could have kept Pidgeot with me. To make a quick uh, escape back to town. But you know what? I probably would just edit the video anyway. Anyway, so I should be able to fully explore the tower now. Let's have a look, because I think I... Oh, if, I tr if I remember rightly, I think I did briefly check out this place, but I couldn't go any further. So here we go. Here's the tower. Bell Tower. Oh, I'm not entirely sure, but you may be able to hear my keyboard a little bit more in this video. Yeah, since the last video, last episode of this uh, Let's Play, I've actually got a new keyboard because the old one was falling apart. And this one is a little bit louder. <laughs> ah, yes, that wing, that fe that uh, feather thing that I think I picked up in Pewter City. So now we can actually explore this place. Yeah. Bell Tower. Actually, thinking about it, I don't know what kind of Pokemon uh, I'll find here, but Marowak still knows False Swipe, so you know what, let's put Marowak up front and see if any Pokemon are around. I don't think I have a Max Repel on. I shouldn't have, because I haven't been doing that much. Jump over, Marowak. There you go. Yeah, you did it. Ooh, you're holding something. Well, presumably it's not your thick club. And let's see what you've picked up. A black beard. Oh man, I can actually hear the tower creaking. I don't know if you can hear it on the video, depending on how I, what I do with the editing, but... That's kind of creepy, actually. You can hear that pillar in the tower just creaking. That's, that's kind of insane. Also, I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> okay, interestingly, still no Pokemon. Hmm. A little bit suspicious, but whatever. Oh boy, it's this bit. Okay. So we can get to the middle there. Let's have a quick look in the middle. Oh, there's an item there. Good to know. Well, there's the ladder, but I don't want to go up just yet. Oh, there we go. We're finally getting some Pokemon. Ah, finally. Oh, it's just a Rattata, and it's only level 21. Not worth my time. So, goodbye, Ratata. I was kind of hoping for something a little bit better, but never mind. Uh, yeah, I want to go this way for the item. Oh, crazy jumping now, Marowak. Oh, wait, there's another ladder. Hmm. Can I have a... No, let's go this way. Let's have a look at this item and go up this ladder. Yeah, we can uh, loop wrap around after. A PP up. I haven't really used any items. The only items I did use, I did eventually use all my rare candies because I was kind of getting a bit bored of... Um doing a lot of training, but most of the Pokemon I did train up legit, but I did have, I think, 10 rare candies, and I did use a few of them because I was getting a bit bored, but, you know, that's the way it goes. Well, hey, let's jump, Marowak! Hey, good job, Marowak. 
and an escape rope, which could be useful, but I think I already have a few of them, so no worries. Uh, that's a dead end, but that's fine, but I do see an item there worth bearing in mind. Okay, so... No, 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 no. Go back down, go back down, go back down. There we go, back down. Uh, back into the middle, and then we can finally go up this ladder. Okay, there we go. Ooh, uh, that goes... Ooh, that does go that way, okay. Meanwhile, just another ratata. I am a little disappointed with the amount of Pokemon I'm seeing right now, so... Hmm, I was kind of hoping for a bit more, but never mind. Oh! Uh, well, something a bit more than just Rattata. Yeah, I'm just getting Rattata. Boring! Boring! Boring, boring Rattata. Yeah, let's go this way. Why not? Uh, there was an item in the middle, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay. A rare candy. Another rare candy. I'm going to have to just use it because, as I said, I used all of them. Uh, just to help with a bit of training. I know I really shouldn't, but then again, at the end of the day, this is just a let's play of a game that you can no longer play online with. So, And I'm not doing any online stuff, so who cares? Right, uh, ladder there. That's the ladder going back down. I don't want to go that way. I do want to go... Uh, ah... I can't go back, can I? Oh, well, ass. <laughs> I have to go this way regardless. Fine, we'll go back around this way. I'm a little bit disappointed with the Pokemon that I'm encountering right now. I'm just seeing Rattata. I want to, I want to see at least something else. There's got to be something else that appears around here. Nope, I don't want to go up that ladder. It's the other one. There we go. Up the ladder we go. And... Go down here, down here, uh, down, and then to the right here. Yes, here we go. I have to think about that for a second. Hey, a Pokemon. Is it Rattata by any chance? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure other Pokemon than Rattata appear in this place, surely. Well, I mean, obviously there's one other, but... In terms of normal wild Pokemon, really just the Rattata? Anyway, grab a max potion. Once again, standing right next to the creaking pillar. Ooh, double bridge. Ooh, let's go on the top bridge. Why not? And yes, it's an item. Okay, yeah, I'll grab that item. No, just a Rattata. I'm always tempted just to put on a max repel because all I'm seeing is Rattata. Oh, come on. I want to see more than just Rattata. Oh, good, I can make a little jump down. A full heal. Okay, not too bad. Let's go up the ladder. Uh-oh. These teleporters. I think they are. They are indeed teleporters, but uh, there is an item there, so you know what? Cancel that. Back we go. Back we go. Keep up, Marowak. Max Revive. All right, we're finding some pretty decent stuff here. I want to see what's down here. I'm curious about down here. Uh, that just goes back round, so we don't want to go that way. Let's see what where this goes. Okay. Might as well have a quick look in here while we're at it. Takes me to an item. That's totally fine. Uh, an HP up. Okay, another teleporter. There was an item I saw around one of the other teleporters, but I'll worry about that another time. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's have a quick look here. Ah, this must be the one I saw. That's fine. A full restore. Yeah, some pretty decent gear to be found here. Sadly, I can't say the same about the Pokemon unless this has changed. Nope, and still the Ratata. Still just a Ratata. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in this teleporter. Where does this take me? It takes me here. I did see an item in one of the other, uh, the middle of the pillars, but let's just see where this goes first. Okay, interesting. Ah, the roof. Well, let's come back because there was a few items I wanted to grab, so 
We now know, well, hopefully I can remember where to get to the roof. So let's uh, ignore uh, the big Pokemon up there right now. I just want to backtrack a little bit. So I want to go into that teleporter eventually, but there's still two items to be found. So, and you know what? Considering all I'm seeing is just Rattata, I'm just going to use, that's the wrong thing. I'm just going to use a Max Repel because I'm sick and tired of seeing a load of rats. So, yes, yeah, screw the router, let's just do that. And actually, seeing as we're getting near the Pokemon that we want to capture, anyway, I'm going to put Ampharos up front. So I'm going to need to paralyze it first. Uh, so, yeah, let's go this way. That's the dead end. Although there was one teleporter I did not check out. So, back around here, it's that one of those teleporters in the middle of that pillar there. So, let's go in here first. Yeah, I didn't go in this one. Where does this take us? Hopefully somewhere new. It does. Oh, okay. Let's go on the top one first. There's a teleporter there, but I think there was also an item down here as well. No, there wasn't. It was somewhere else. There is a teleporter there, but let's go in this one first. Well, either way, I need to head back anyway. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. A Max Elixir. Not too shabby. Can always use plenty of those in my Mystery Dungeon Let's Play. And now let's go this way. Uh, down. No, wrong way because I'm a moron. <clears throat> yeah, let's go this way. I'm a moron, aren't I? Ampharos, can you do me a favour? Can you, uh, can you jump down there and then jump along there so you can get to that teleport and see if I can magically appear there? No? Oh, come on, Ampharos. You know, you, you don't have to follow me. I mean, if there was an ability where I could actually command the Pokemon to go wherever in this, uh, in any, like, Pokemon game, that would be pretty cool. Anyway, correct path later... We get to see what this item is. Hopefully something good. A nugget! Hey, free money! So, uh, how are you feeling, Alfrost, by the way? Having fun jumping up and down. Well, that's good to know, Alfrost, because we're going to be doing plenty of that in this tower. Man. Seriously, what's with all this jumping about? I mean... Yeah, some of them are even hovering. How are some of these even staying in place? That just... Yeah, I just don't understand. Just gotta jump around! Anyway, now that we've... I think I've cleared up all the items. I think now is time to actually head to the rooftop and encounter... And uh, Repel's Effect wore off. Well, whatever. Uh, so we want to go in this teleporter. Uh, I can't remember now. Was it this one? No. Wait, was it or wasn't it? I can't remember. Actually, go back in here. Go back in here. This is either a dead end or another teleporter. It is a teleporter and... Ratata? Ratata? Ratata. Yeah. It's just good old Ratata. Sorry, Ratata. I really don't give a damn about you. Especially considering, as I said, it's the only Pokemon I'm encountering. Okay, no, no. This is right. This seems right. Another Ratata. Yeah. <laughs> How did I guess? Okay. I wanna run away from this ratata. Okay, so, yeah, this should be the right way. Yes. This, uh, dodgy looking uh, planks going across this gap here, up the ladder. And there we go. One. Legendary Pokemon to be found right at the top of the tower. But I think before I attempt to capture it, I'm going to save it because, well, this could be a long capture if I decide not to use the Master Ball. So, I'm going to save it, and then we're going to try and capture this Ho-Oh, preferably without using a Master Ball. Right, the game is saved. Ho-Oh, I've come to capture you. And indeed, you are level 70, so a very high level Pokemon. 
You're exerting your pressure, but that is fine. First of all, Thunder Wave, because... Amphrost still knows that, but hey, if I'm lucky, maybe it'll paralyze itself. Nope, it doesn't, but that's fine, because I will just use Thunder Wave on you. Okay, now I want to just Thunderbolt for now, even though it's a legendary Pokemon, I don't want to go overboard, and besides, I can just switch to Marowak and get it to use False Swipe. Ooh, that actually did a lot more damage than I thought, okay. So I'm using Sacred Fire, which is a very strong move. Ow, and our frost is burned, okay. Woohoo! One hit point. All right. Well, you know what? I uh, the only other move I can really use, unless I switch you out. But you know what? Let's just use Signal Beam. Signal Beam should do hardly any damage. Oh wow, yeah. Looked like one pixel. But you know what? That's fine. Just try and weaken it a little bit more, so I don't have to waste too much time using False Swipe. Okay. Next up, I. Yeah, let's use Marowak and use False Swipe. Hopefully it'll take it down a little bit. Obviously I can't use any of my ground type moves, but let's just use False Swipe. Okay, if Marowak survives this, one more False Swipe will be enough. Okay, that's fine. Not very effective. That's good. One more False Swipe. Alright, so now you should be on one hit point. Using Safeguard, which is kind of pointless because uh, I've already done all the damage. So now, uh, I'm going to have to use Ultra Balls because uh, aren't we technically outside? We're not in a cave. Well, obviously we're not in a cave. We're outside, so I can't really use the Dusk Balls. Hmm. Whereas with the Mewtwo capture, I could potentially get away with using Dusk Balls. Might have to use the Master Ball this one. But let's try a few Ultra Balls. I'm going to try a few and... We'll see how it goes. But yeah, predictably you break straight out. Hmm. Okay, what to do? Okay, you're just going to carry on using Ancient Power. That's not going to do much damage to Marowak. No, I don't want to attack because I'm almost certain you're down to one hit point. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have any... I don't... I'm not really optimistic about these Ultra Balls, to be honest. Especially considering, as I said, we are outside. So, I suppose thinking about that, I could have waited until night time. Uh, that's what I should have done. In fact, I think that's something I said I was going to maybe do. But, mm, I don't know. I'm just going to keep trying. This might take a while, so I might either do a jump cut or maybe fast forward the video. And just see whether I'm successful. Well, that's the most amount of shakes uh, the ball has uh, had in my attempt so far. Hmm. Don't know how much longer I will try before I end up just giving up and using the Master Ball. Whoa! I was not expecting that. Ho oh, oh, was caught! Okay, I was just about to give up, actually. <laughs> I was just about to give up that capture and, you know, just reload, but. <laughs> God knows how many Ultra Balls later, I have caught Ho oh, oh, the Rainbow Pokemon. A legend says that its body glows in seven colors. A rainbow is said to form behind it when it flies. So there we go. We've got ourselves a Ho oh, oh. Ooh, how many Ultra Balls did I burn through that? Because I I was about to give up. Yeah, I'm down to 39. How many did I have? 70-something? I can't remember, but yeah, I burned through a lot of those Ultra Balls. I was about to give up and maybe, you know, try again, but at night, so the Dusk Balls would be more effective. But no, stick at it long enough and you will get lucky. <laughs> And that's not the first time that's happened against a legendary Pokemon, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. So there we go. We've now got Ho-Oh. Uh, and unless I'm very much mistaken and I'm forgetting a Pokemon, 
we've only got one more legendary Pokemon to capture in this game. Uh, for first off, I'm going to use an escape rope. And hopefully you'll take me to the exit rather than the rooftop, because I'll be annoyed if you do... Okay, good, thank God for that. All oh, right, actually inside uh, Equitique City rather than uh, just at the base of the bell tower. That's nice. Ah, I approve of that. Thank you very much, game. Right, so let's heal my Pokemon. So, yeah, uh, what happened was I obviously saw how I weakened the Pokemon and eventually I uh, just brought Typhlosion out because Typhlosion would be able to withstand a lot of Ho-Oh's attacks. Uh, it did use Ancient Power on uh, Typhlosion. Which is which was super effective against it, but fortunately it did eventually run out of uh, PPs eventually, so it stopped using that, and I just kept uh, Typhlosion pretty much alive by uh, just using some potions every now and then. Okay, so there's Ho Oh, but I don't want you in that box. I need you uh, in the Legends box, and I now want to bring Pidgeot with me. So let's have a quick look at the legends. Yeah, look at this now. Actually, let me flip the screens. Yeah, look at this. This is looking pretty cool now. So we have nine legendary Pokemon plus one more that we can get. As I said, I might be forgetting a few of us that you can find, like, as you do in a while without, you know, using some sort of, like, event or something. But, yeah, not too bad. Just Mewtwo to get, as far as I'm aware. Right, let's flip that back. So yeah. Level 70 Ho-Oh, let's have a look at your moves. What kind of moves do you know? Sacred Fire, Punishment, Ancient Power, and Safeguard. Yeah, it got to a point where it just kept using Safeguard, so it mu that must have been the only attack it had left. Yeah, oh yeah, all of it, apart from Safeguard, all of them have five PPs. So yeah, it got through that very quickly. So there's Sacred Fire. And you, of course you're holding the Sacred Ash. Uh, punishment, attacks power increases the more the foe has powered up uh, the, with stat char changes. Then there's ancient power, which actually was... Oh yeah, of course, it's rock type. I was thinking of hidden power for some reason. Yeah, ancient power was uh, super effective against type version. I can't believe I got that mixed up. I was, I was thinking of, what was it, hidden power or secret power? One of those moves that was super effective, so yeah. I was thinking of the wrong attack there, but yeah, ancient power, it stopped using that eventually. So there we are. That is... Ho-Oh! And I have no idea how long that actually took for me to capture it. It must have took me at least 10 minutes. So, whew, that was something. So, just the one more legendary Pokemon to get, and I still have the Master Ball, and I'm kind of tempted to try and capture our next Pokemon without having to use it. So, first of all, let's go... Well, first of all, I need to fly to Victory Road, and then to Cerulean. Ah! That reminds me, I actually need to get Kingler, don't I? But I think that, I think Kingler is the only Pokemon I need. I don't think I need to have Ursa Ring with me in Cerulean Cave. Although then again, having said that, I mean, it's not, I don't think, I don't think there's going to be any Pokemon trainers in the cave. Or is there? Ooh, I don't know now, but I'm definitely going to need to bring Kingler with us so we can actually surf across. Not going to need Pidgeot, so I can safely say... Also, I'm in the wrong box. I don't want the Legends box. I want box two. So, uh, Kingler, you can come with us. Do I want to bring Ursa Ring with me? Hmm. Well, I definitely want Marowak. You know, for false swipe. I want to bring Ursa Ring with me. I think I'm... I think I will. I don't know if I need Ursa Ring, but I'm just going to bring it with us just in case. Uh, because you never know. But we'll see. Anyway. Let's head to uh, the cave. Uh, uh, I'm just going to use Dusk Balls because we're going to be in a cave, so they'll be a lot more effective than the Ultra Balls. So I don't need to stock up on in any items. Maybe I could have stocked up on some potions or whatnot. Although what I'm going to do, I'm just going to temporarily put on this Max Repel while I'm surfing across the water. And through this grass patch and hopefully it'll 
the, uh, the repel will wear off, hopefully not too long after I get to the end of the water here. Oh, I can't go onto this bridge. That sucks. Anyway, so... Oh, it's a lot further than I thought. Oh, yeah, the person blocking the cave is no longer there. This was a dead end, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. All right, well, that's fine. Here we go. Let's have a look in here, shall we? Well, that's it for this episode of my Pokemon Soul Silver Let's Play, but there'll be some more episodes coming up very soon. So, for the time being, thanks very much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I shall catch you all later.